If you're an MDaemon administrator, there will be times when you will need to use search tools to find an email message for one of your users. And you can use the message search feature in MDaemon Remote Administration to track an email message. You'll find the message search under the Messages and Queues menu located right here. And using the tools on this screen, you can specify the specific criteria that you would like to search to find a missing email message. For example, we're going to choose the domain under which we are searching, and then we're going to search the mailbox for this user here. And using the blank provided, enter a keyword that you'd like to search for. You can search in the message subject, the from, header, message recipients, attachment name, message ID, and so forth. You can also search all dates or you can use the options down here to search a specific date range if you'd like to do so. In this case we're going to search all dates and then we'll simply click on the search button here. And here's our message. As you can see here the message was accepted. If it had not been accepted, if it had been filtered by the spam filter or via some other security measure, it would list that information here under the reason column. So for example, if it were rejected under the result column, it would say rejected and under reason it would say something like spam filter or one of the other security processes. And then you've got the message subject and the from header, the to, and the message date. So you can review that message here. You can click on the link at the top to view the message. You can view the message headers under the source tab and you can click on the logs tab to view the transcript of the message delivery process. This is a good way to verify whether the message was delivered because we can see, for example, under this section where it shows this portion of the routing log, we can see here that the message was delivered to the user's mailbox. It was placed inside the mdaemon users directory, inside the example.com folder for the user's domain, inside the folder for the user john.smith, and this is the actual file itself.